Hi, in this video I want to show you how I can how I created a sub D last. Um, this is a sub D last. And what is very important is the layout of the structure, where the faces are, where the control points are located. I'll show you the control points. If you have too many control points or when they're located at the wrong places on the surface, you have a last you cannot manipulate uh, that is more or less useless. Here you can see the layout of the faces a little bit better. Okay, how did I make this sub D last? Well, from scrap. Well, get, let's get started. I'll switch to shaded mode. And hide this last. And a very good thing to do is to start with a scan of a last. Um, this is a scan of a last. And you can use such a last as a reference. Without the scan of a last, it will be very difficult, even for uh, a very experienced last maker, to make a last from scrap just in a 3D space without reference. It's almost impossible, I think. You see, it's not a very dense mesh. But I promise to start from scrap. Thus, let's start with a simple cube. This is a sub G D cube, and it doesn't look like a last yet. Deform this cube into a last. But you see, you have not enough faces to uh, reach this, the shape of the last. Uh, while pushing and pulling on faces and control points and adding edges, etc., you will need to add extra edges and faces to be able to shape a last out of this. Okay, I'll just start modeling now. First I'll extrude these two faces. And now it's almost the last, but it needs some work. But you see the basic shape is already there. Now I'll just start pushing and pulling until I get closer to the shape of the last. I'll speed it up in the video. Later on, I'll superimpose this last over the scan. Now you see, now I'm getting in trouble because I want to make this curve, I want to create this curve in this part of the sub D last. So I don't have enough faces to do that. So I'll insert an edge ring and you see if, if you insert edges the other edges also uh, get another location So every time you insert an edge, you'll be moving earlier uh, edges you uh, placed, uh, uh, you 
located earlier on the right location they will move they will change position I will show you what I mean if I insert an edge here now you see all the other edges also moving Okay, there's one edge I want to add. So you can also change the shape of the instep. Also a good idea to keep in mind the shape of the shoe you're going to make so the, the line of the shoe is more or less this curve it's good to have that in your last and you may ask yourself why don't I pull the control points to the last now uh, you can do that I'll do that in a later uh, later on I'll, I'll also I will do that um, but for now I want to keep control of where I have my control points move this more to the front Keep your line straight. So don't do something like this. Now it's a good time to fine tune the feather line. Always look from different directions on what you're doing. I think this this type of modeling is one of the most difficult types of modeling you can do. It's very organic. I know of no auto automated system that can do this, this except for quad remesh. But again, that doesn't give you the the control points on the places where you want to have them, and too many control points points too. Okay, and you can imagine to make it perfect. It takes, it simply takes a lot of time. It's a craft. I'm not very happy with the distribution of control points on the nose. And of 
course you don't have to make an exact copy of this scan. If you want that, you can simply use the scan. <laughs> but I want a, a shape that I can manipulate. And that's more or less impossible with a scan like this. Okay, now it comes very close to what I where I want to be. Okay. I'll hide and now you see I'm already coming close this is the configuration of the faces as I want them and of course it's not perfect yet it takes a bit more time And I don't mind to spend <laughs> altogether a day in modeling a last like this because when I have this last I can use it for all other lasts and I can use it for years and years. But first you have to have one. Okay, quite happy with this last as it is now. This part is the hardest part to model. Especially in orthopedics, orthopedics is one dimension more difficult, I think. But always the same rules. Okay. Now, what I can do now is pull the edit points, not the control points, to the surface of the scan. Um, you see, this is my layout now. And you have two types of control points. You have the, the normal control points you saw, but you also have these. Those are the edit points. And the difference between edit points and control points is that edit points are on the surface of the sub D surface itself. But um, they're not very good for modeling the shape itself. You can do that, but other, you see that the other con uh, edit points also move. Uh, well, when you use the control points, uh, these grips, the only thing that moves are the, the grips itself and not uh, that you have selected, not the other grips. But if you want to have the uh, surface of the sub D as close as possible to the scan, and this is a very useful type of grips. And of course there are other ways to make good use of these edit points. Um, I'll show the scan again. And what I'll do now is I'll select all the edit points. Oh. All the edit points. And then I select pool. And then it asks me what I want to, where I want the uh, edit points to be pulled to. That's this one, this last. Enter. And now it comes very close, you see. What's only left is to fine edit a bit more. I'll and for the 
last details of the last. <laughs> you need more added points so you can add some more, but be very careful with that. Um, this is the end result, result of a last that has a bit more added points. But for a standard shoe last, um, this layout is sufficient. This lay layout gives you more possibilities, for instance, to, to uh, create a, a bump, a uh, hallux valgus, as it's called. Um, I'm sorry. I'll go to UVN mode. You see, a lot of older women and some men too have uh, problems with this uh, disease. You need for more control points for that. But again, for standard shoe last, this is a very good uh, layout. Maybe add an extra edge here. If you want more detail. Uh, okay, I hope I have explained how I made my lasts from scrap.